Welcome back! Today I'm going to show you how to edit solo play AI teammate spawns in Frosty Editor for PVZ GW2. First, open the gameplay folder, then scroll down and click on selection sets, and open the selection set tree of your choice. Now find the selection set with the title Plants Playable as AI or Zombies Playable as AI. Next, open any one of the selection sets inside the child nodes, then open the child nodes of that, and finally, open any one of the selectable unlock spawners. For this example, I am going to change Citron's AI spawn data to spawn Hypnoshroom instead. To do this, I need to go down to the Weapons folder, open AI, then Plant, and scroll down until I find the Hypnoshroom folder. Open it up, click on Hypnoshot, then open the asset called U underscore Hypnoshop. We'll copy the identifier. And we'll paste it right here where it says unlock identifier. The next thing we need to do is change the AI spawn. So I'm going to go to the teams folder. open plants, then click on AI spawn unlocks, and scroll down until I find the Hypnoshroom spawn data. Single click the file and assign it to AI spawn. Lastly, uncheck the box that says use player customizations. And you are done. And as I always do, I am going to save my project and I am going to call it Hypno Shroom in Solo Ops. All right, let's test out our new Hypno Shroom AI teammates in Solo Ops, shall we? Say hello to my Hypno Shroom buddy. I'm gonna spawn in two more just for fun. <laughs> you can also switch to them if you press the up or down arrows on your keyboard. So I guess this is one way to play as AI in GW2. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please be sure to come back for more. Peace out.